Welcome back to Critical Mass, the show that criticizes the critics. Recently, I came across an article on Polygon that states that there is a lack of kissing in the MCU. The article entitled, An Investigation into the Lack of Kissing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Do the superheroes know there are many reasons to kiss? We should tell them. The article explores the perceived lack of kissing, lack of romance, and the lack of sex in the Marvel films, but Joshua Rivera is far from the only person to make this criticism, as Honest Trailers recently made note of it in their Hawkeye episode, and this piece itself even brings up the article by R.S. Benedict entitled, Everyone is Beautiful and No One is Horny. Now, some believe that this is a symptom of Marvel being owned by Disney. After all, the House of Mouse isn't known for having a lot of risque material. But there is another detail that this article does bring up, and it's the question of, what do you do when you're a franchise that initially aims at younger audiences, but then you live on for several years? Do you decide to keep on doing what you're doing, hoping that new youngsters will take their place, or do you age with your audience, giving them more mature material as they get older? Well, it appears that Marvel might be trying to ladder, as was seen in the movie Eternals, which did come out after this article was written. In it, Marvel allegedly has their first sex scene, as well as their first gay kiss. Even Paperboy got some in this movie. But all in all, this is distracting from the ultimate question, so let's just get down to brass tacks. Does the MCU have a fundamental lack of kissing? No. This is one of the most ridiculous criticisms I have ever heard of the MCU, and personally, I think this article was just written for clickbait. And quite frankly, criticisms like this is exactly why this show exists, to take an examination of critiques that people make and start spreading throughout the internet and investigate to see if there's any truth behind them at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and break apart this argument, and we'll start by taking a look at the article itself. And what's really weird is, almost every movie in the MCU has some form of kissing in it, and this article acknowledges that. Anyway, let's get into it. After an introduction where they break down how important romance is to film, they start going into each phase of the MCU and looking at all the kissing in all the movies. Now, the article does start at the beginning with phase one of the MCU, and I think we should start there as well. And let's start at the very beginning with Iron Man, the first Iron Man, which was the first movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And in the beginning, Tony talks about how he almost had sex with every single Maxim cover model for a calendar year, even mentioning that the Christmas cover was twins. So how do you like that for a sexless MCU? Oh, and in terms of an actual sex scene, let's not forget about this part right here. Yes, I know this was before Disney, but still, this was in the first movie, already dismissing this criticism. No, they don't graphically show it or anything, but what are you looking for, hardcore penetration? And furthermore, staying with Phase 1, yes, there is at least one kiss in every single movie of Phase 1, from Iron Man all the way to the Avengers. Going back to the article, the rest of it does look at all the kisses in the MCU and breaks down what's wrong with it, since that is either checking off boxes, not exactly romantic, or so on and so forth. But if this is the case, then the title shouldn't be talking about a lack of kissing, but rather what's wrong with the kissing that's there. But personally, it has so many different problems and it's looking for a very specific kind of kiss that I don't really know what they're looking for or what exactly it is that they want. When the article breaks down phase two, it says that all the kisses are too comedic in nature or are followed up by a joke, or that they're not on the lips, even for long-term committed couples. Pointing out in Iron Man 3, Tony and Pepper only share a kiss on the cheek, which I gotta admit, okay, that is weird. This also happens in Phase 3 when Christine only kisses Doctor Strange on the cheek, but speaking of Phase 3, that's exactly when the article says that the kissing starts slowing down. And yes, Phase 3 does have less kissing than in previous other phases, like with Captain Marvel. But here, this is a double-edged sword. For Carol Danvers, they decided to tell a story about a woman who didn't need a romantic interest in her life. A more empowering tale, if you will. But if they chose to go in the other direction, there would be those who would complain that finally we get a female-led movie only to have yet another woman be defined by her relationship and be defined by a man. And that's a sentiment I can agree with, but not just for women, but also for men. Why does there need to be a romantic interest in every movie? Well, the reality is, Hollywood does this because they feel like having a little something for everybody will widen their audience so they can make more money. But truth be told, there's just a lot of stories where it really doesn't belong there. Take for instance, The Replacements. This is a football comedy. Why do we need this side plot about Keanu Reeves and the cheerleader? Now look, I'm not a 
against kissing, and yes, I understand that kissing and romance is very big, very Hollywood. It can be great in movies, I just don't think it's mandatory though. Because sometimes, I actually feel it's worse when it's forced. Believe me, I do agree that there was a lack of chemistry between Captain America and Sharon Carter, and yes, it's also weird that that's Peggy Carter's niece. However, this is not to say that I disagree with everything in this article, as it does bring up a very good point, and it's that Hollywood is weirdly prude when it comes to sex, but it's perfectly okay with violence. I mean, there's an actual beheading in Endgame, so is it even fair to say that Disney is trying to shield children from anything? Oh, but speaking of which, let's go back to that argument I brought up earlier about having a younger audience, because I do acknowledge that not only are there adults who watch these films as well, but if anything, there are more adults who watch these movies than children. But to all the grown-ups out there, I do feel the need to ask, do you really need more sex in your superhero movies? I'm gonna take a shower. Okay. You're gonna join me. Oh, but that does remind me. The article does mention how in the comic books, which is what superhero films are based off of, there is plenty of sex and kissing. It says, just open up any X-Men book. Well, challenge accepted. Alright. Okay, so here we have all new X-Men number 21. Let's just see. And yes, I'm really doing this at random. Nope, not one kiss. Let's try this again. Okay, how about um, Uncanny X-Men number 12? Nope, no kissing either. Okay, and um, how about... Uh, Wolverine and the X-Men number 39. Nope, no kissing, no sex. Okay, demonstration over. Point I'm trying to make is, it's not as synonymous with the comic book genre as a lot of people think that it is. Now, I also will admit, I did just get lucky there because I know that kissing happens a lot in comic books, especially the X-Men books like with Cyclops getting around with everybody. But the overall point I'm trying to make here is, is it really this necessary? And furthermore, let's look at other movie franchises, like The Karate Kid. The first movie only has one real kiss between Daniel and Allie. Sure, Johnny does force himself on Allie, but I'm not gonna count that. Or let's look at Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You don't exactly see him and the alien making out now, do you? Or how about the Harry Potter franchise, which this article does bring up. Sure, we get some kissing in it, but it does seem like the MCU probably has a better ratio than the Harry Potter films. And also, furthermore, the Harry Potter movies definitely don't have any sex in it. So ultimately, do I think that there's a lack of kissing in the MCU? No. Do I think it's weird that there's a lack of sex in the MCU? No. But I do think it's weird that some people feel that there is.